Thank you very much, Vice Minister Lee. Next, there will be a welcoming remarks by Sang Hwan Lee, the President of Korea Association of International Studies and Professor at Hankook University of Foreign Studies. Please welcome. Good morning, colleagues. Uh, good evening in Mexico. Uh, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Yi Tae Ho, distinguished speakers, panelists, and guests from the five countries of Australia, Indonesia, Korea, Mexico, and Turkey. I'm more than pleased to welcome you to the MICTA Academic Dialogue on the theme of post-COVID-19 global order and MICTA's role as a middle power partnership I would like to thank the Korean Ministry of Foreign Affairs for hosting this meaningful event and for giving KAIS this opportunity to share our thoughts on this very timely topic. Today, the COVID-19 pandemic is changing the way of life, both in domestic and international uh, global communities. Post-COVID-19 era, is being characterized as deglobalization and digitalization. Deglobalization has originated from the COVID-19 pandemic and its consequent problems, including restriction on travel and transfer of goods. Digitalization continues to accelerate because of the pandemic and the ICT revolution. Furthermore, the COVID-19 recession is a major ongoing global economic crisis. The crisis, the worst global economic situation since the Great Depression in the 1930s began due to the economic consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic which is still in progress as we speak. This recession has been unusually severe and is causing rapid increases in unemployment in many countries. And as COVID-19 continues to spread, some, con some countries, including South Korea, are putting uh, their citizens on various forms of lockdown. In April, the foreign ministers from MICTA uh, countries, MICTA member countries, issued a joint statement to call for robust global cooperation in fighting COVID-19. They maintained that MICTA members, together with other G20 countries, should employ all available policy tools to minimize economic and social damage from the pandemic. In addition, the ministers noted that openness, transparency, and democracy are key factors in providing measures to protect people from the pandemic. MICTA aims to support effective global governance despite its diversity in terms of geography, culture, and social economic situation, all member states are in unity to ensure global governance systems are working in order to improve security and economic interests. As a cross-regional partnership, MICTA's middle powers need to play a more profound and effective leading role in the global community in these enduring times. Indeed, the international community high, has high expectations for MICTA. As a, as, as a matter of fact, MICTA member states have been dealing with issues such as UN Security Council reform, peacekeeping, anti-terrorism, refugee problems, development cooperation, climate change, and epidemics. Now we recognize that 
COVID-19 is a new disease that requires collaborative response, including sharing of information and solutions between nations. We need to share our respective experiences in addressing the pandemic in an open, transparent, and democratic manner. At a time when great powers are busy at finger pointing, we should enhance our collaboration further to overcome the pandemic. This academic dialogue is designed to discuss a post COVID 19 global order and MICTA's role as a middle power partnership as the theme for. MICTA Academic Dialogue this year. We have two sessions today. In session one, MICTA experts will discuss the, uh, the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on the dynamics of national interest and prospects of a post-COVID-19 global order. In session two, MICTA experts will contemplate ways to deepen our collaboration to promote multilateralism and global health security for the enhancement of socioeconomic recovery and global resilience. Distinguished panelists, today's seminar provides an excellent opportunity to discuss the role of MICTA on global issues and build networks to help solve the COVID-19 crisis, I hope. You will have detailed discussions on ways to encourage creative ideas from middle power diplomacy. I look forward to meaningful debate on what kind of strategies MICTA should pursue in solving COVID-19 related problems. I wish you all the best in your intellectual exercise today. Thank you very much.